welcome to today's video. We are doing Mermaid Mask. Not Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, which is what I just thought of. For some reason, SpongeBob popped into my head. Um, yeah. Now, we're, let's, let's, uh, let's channel our Ariel vibes, our Mermaid vibes. So, I showed you guys this mask before. It's Noog is, um, sent this to me. There is um, two applications in here. It's like this cute little kit. And it's the CLG or Algae Sea Silt and Tea Tree Oil. It's actually for more normal to oily skin. So I'm probably going to focus it on my T zone and maybe not right here on my sensitive cheek area. But um, I want to try it. So it's supposed to get, you know, it's like sets. I don't know if it gets rubbery or what but it's supposed to peel off and I'm intrigued so I need to try this for you guys. <laughs> so it says there's two applications so this packet contains enough for two so you just got to kind of eyeball it when you pour it out into the container. This is the container you can mix in and it says once you've used the product and then you let the residue dry and peel it out then you can use it to store and you can reuse it so yeah comes with a little measuring cup and a spatula. So I'm going to follow the, the I'm going to follow the directions and set my timer for 15 minutes. Have a cup of coffee, come back and show you guys. So this will be fun, right? Okay. 3 tablespoons of powder and 45 ml room temperature water. What? Oh, I see. Okay, so here is the powder. It looks like powder. I don't know, is that enough? <laughs> you could get a tablespoon measurement and do it the right way. You know me. It smells like tea tree oil. It smells very medicinal. It's only got, it's got like rice powder um, willow leaf extract, algin, so diamaticus, dia, dio, diatomaceous earth. Um, I am a little concerned, like I said, about the tea tree oil, but it should be okay. So three, no, I'm sorry, 45 mLs of warm water. Oh, can I use this? So <laughs> 45 mLs. So I have a room temperature water. So here is 30 mLs. Actually, I might just I might not have a full uh, three tablespoons of powder in here, so I'm gonna kind of, you know, it's kind of like pancake batter. You want to not add too much liquid. Nope, definitely need more. Um, and then. You're like, ah, crap, I made them too runny. Now I got to add the po more powder mix, you know. So just kind of, this is what it's looking like. Whoa. I guess, I mean, this is actually a good consistency. Apply the mask and stir vigorously. I'm not stirring vigorously enough. And to a thick paste. Well, I think I've made a thick paste. Ooh, yes. And then apply immediately to your skin. There is probably a better way to do this. <laughs> it's getting hard. I mean, not like hard, hard, but you can tell that it feels like a little bit gelatinous. That must be the... That must be the diatomaceous earth in there. Of course, like connecting it would be good because then you can peel it. That's that's when you have a peel off thing, you want it thick because then it comes off better. You know what I mean? There's a 
lot. I think, I think that this makes a lot. So, uh oh, I just put it on my eyebrows. My, we'll see how that goes. When you put peel off masks anywhere near hair, it can hurt. Uh, damn it. <laughs> um, maybe what I should do is remove that. Ta-da! So, I think there's plenty of product in here. You could e maybe make this into three mask applications because I have leftover. Of course, I didn't put any on my cheeks. It's right there. Careful of the hair. Ah, oh, I just got it in my ear. Well, I might shower later. Okay. <laughs> I have to say it is fun. It's cooling. It smells fresh. So I am going to set my timer, which actually it's been more than 15 minutes already, but I'm going to set my timer and chill. Oh. And yeah, so what do you guys want to talk about? I'll let you guys know how it feels. Right now it's shiny and it's like gloppy, you know, like it's, I can tell that it's firm. Um, yeah. Okay, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Time's up, bitches. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, time's up. Uh, so it is, um, it is set, but you can see it's dried on the edges where it's thinner, and then it's still green on the um, thick parts. But it's it's just like it's just smooth and set. Oh my god, I'm so scared on my hair. Oh oh, this is fine. This is fine. Huh. Ready? Let's let's see what kind of chunk. I don't know how to go down or up. I, maybe I'll go down. Oh, there's some hair in there. Oh, ow. Mm, yeah. So, I did shave my face recently, so maybe it doesn't hurt, but I got some of my, my actual hairs in it. That's not advised. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm kind of lousy at doing this in one piece, sorry. Um, I don't see anything gross or disgusting in it. It's, but it is, oh my God, it's so cool. It looks like you could use it in a um, effects department for like prosthetic pieces for Frankenstein. More hairline mistake. Okay, the thicker you make it, the better it is. Just, I mean, thicker is better, right? Peels better. It comes off the skin better. <clears throat> okay, here comes the nose. Oh my god, it's like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible. There goes my face. I can see pores, but I don't see like any blackheads or anything. Who wants to see this? <laughs> yeah, you want to see that? Right now it's only focusing on my bad man. This is what happens when you do your, na your nails and then take a nap. 
It says to rinse off. I just burped. It says to rinse off the remaining in, you know, with a warm washcloth or something like that. My skin feels smooth where it was at, and oh. So there's still a little bit of, you know, flakes and crusts to remove the mask, but I'm also, um, I was planning on washing my hair today anyway, so I'm going to hop in the shower and just get the rest of this off in the shower. Um, definitely be careful of your hairline and your eyebrows just so you don't have any difficulties. Actually, this mask was so gentle. It did not hurt. It was not painful. It didn't pull on the skin or pull out the little hairs or anything like that. Um, I'm a little bit red right here, but that's usually because I I rubbed it with the washcloth, but I'm also usually always red right there. Um, this is sort of my like red concentration of my face. My forehead though, like it feels kind of poreless. It's like really cool. You know when you do like, you know when your skin is just like really tight and shiny, <laughs> which I kind of love when in the oily areas. Um, so the oily areas of my face just feel really good and clean and hopefully the tea tree, nothing, you know, in it affected this part, which it shouldn't because I didn't apply it there. So I hope they come out with other formulas for like hydration and anti-aging and oh my gosh, that would just be awesome because I really did enjoy this mask. So um, yeah, I hope you liked <laughs> I'm still picking mask out of my ear. Um, I hope you liked that demonstration and um, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks Noog for sending the mask to me. Um, I will leave links below for you to buy it off their website or to try to find it at Target or wherever else they're sold um, that sells the product. So yeah. So thanks so much. I hope you've subscribed and I will see you next time. Bye.